नॉलेज गैप वट टू ऑटोमेट वट नॉट टू ऑटोमेट डीलिंग विद द चेंजिंग रिक्वायरमेंट नॉट ए स्टेबल एनवायरमेंट टू रन ऑटोमेशन हाउ टू डू टेस्ट रिपोर्टिंग हाउ टू डू मेंटेन योर टेस्ट केसेज एंड वी अवर स्क्रिप्ट आर कंटिन्यूसली फेलिंग देर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ चैलेंजेस फेस बाय द ऑटोमेशन इंजीनियर राइट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोट डिस्कस अबाउट द सेवन मेजर चैलेंजेस दैट एवरी ऑटोमेशन टेस्टर बेसिकली फेस राइट विच आर through my experience of 12 plus years right i'm going to discuss and how to handle them separately right all these things i'm going to discuss this video is very important if you are an aspiring automation engineer or if you are already working as an automation engineer or if you are a manual and or an it who wants to jump into the automation right this is what which is that you are going to face probably in future which is very very important that you need to understand let's jump with the first one the first one is of course problem number 0 all of you will face is which is knowledge gap in automation guys so when i have started right uh, when we were basically like three people who started a automation framework out of three people two people knows about java two people commonly knows about python so there was always a fight okay which one we should use java or python or should we use another library or the same framework or the same language which basically our uh, company was using so this is the same problem that we have encountered in when i was in ingify i think right remember right so different resources have a different skill set this is what the problem probably you will face more making it right so overall in a nutshell i would say this problem can be solved right the people who have majority first of all if your application is made in java script it doesn't mean that you have to create your project in java script you can create in java also which is more popular more documentation and more most of the problems are already solved so we have tried it with java script as well as java both of the framework we have tried throughout the time so this is what my learning is it doesn't matter it what it matters is if you have good documentation if your team knows about java very very well then go with the java this is very important that you can do right but if the company if your frameworks or your development is made in java script then going with the java script will give you definitely some advantages this is also what i have seen so it depends upon your skill set second important point okay many times you will face this issue which is what to automate and what not to automate okay this is very very important thing okay so decide based on the stability this is very very important thing that you need to do. so when i was in browser strike right we every time we have like okay for example 100 test cases we need to automate throughout this week and we have three resources two resources something like that so how we have decided it we decide those basically automation into p0 p1 and p2 we divide them into a priorities which are important and which are basically can lead to a smoke test or sanity test that we wanted to add so based on the stability based on the regression number based on the priority basically frequent request numbers or directly proportional to automation needed right so that's what we have done so solution wise marking them in a the proper priority shifting early basically starting early shifting early shift left testing is nothing but starting early in the development so whenever people are creating the application side by side you can write your automation framework and do that right this is what browser stack used to do and i really love that concept of similar concept we have implemented in uh, techion also where side by side when developers are building the application we have developed our api automation which is working very fine right so those things you can do so what to automate what not to automate make sure shift left testing concept you can use divide your test cases on priority this is very very important and make sure that your e2e flows and hot fix related pipelines are to the point hot fix related pipelines are made from the p0 so that is important thing that you need to remember okay dealing with the change in requirement if you are a manual tester automation tester doesn't matter change requirement will change guys ui will change script will fail dynamic ui selenium scripts will also fail so this is 100 times we have seen it it doesn't matter if you are working with any type of company i have worked with uh, essential which is like billion dollar company i have worked with smaller startups we have seven people her change in requirement is everywhere which is common so you have to deal with them how you can deal with them is make sure your automation make sure your manual testing whatever you are doing it should be very generic you have your templates ready if you are a manual tester if you are an automation tester you have your frameworks which are more custom hybrid generic frameworks this is what you can do and of course maintain your locator strategy and everything that you need to do so that it is very very generic and change your requirement which you can basically handle okay tip a uh, problem number 3 which is stable environment guys this is a scary thing okay you will not find a stable environment for example whenever i want to do a manual testing suppose for a project i want to do a normal software testing exploitary testing whatever it is uh, environments are the problem 
developer has basically installed some different branch i was i have tested this i we have tested so many times it is one of the biggest problem so this problem can be removed if you have frequent modification this happens can be removed with the good communication and before you start any automation or software testing or manual whatever it is you have to know what you are testing so prerequisite check a checklist should be followed we have created a prerequisite check before you start testing you have to follow these things check for the required branch check for the environment if everything is available then only basically proceed with your testing this is how you can remove problem number 4 which is reporting and everything guys many times 100 times my manager asked me okay give me a beautiful record be beautiful beautiful test report so that i can understand everything in 3 seconds okay so whenever i read your email uh, so first time when i have sent him right i sent him this much long of email and he said okay no 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 i don't want this kind of email i want within 3 second i will understand what is going on so that's where uh, visibility issues and they all did information right this is what it is there so what i have done i have basically created a very simple table and a test matrix table which basically was giving there was how many test cases are passed how many test cases are failed whenever we have run our automation or even though if we are doing the manual testing how many are passed how many are failed what is the percentage if you want to see there is this is uh, a this is called as test matrix i'll give you the link if i have it the excel file yes i have <coughs> this is the simple excel file that we generally used to use and i generally you, you send this total number of execution total number of uh, this is generally i used to send him in within 3 second he knows that okay 90 test cases are this this must pass this must fail no blockers and these were not executed simple way if you want this template i let me know in the description i will send you the link also for this to download it okay problem number 5 of course the data management at gt gdpr compliant guys so make sure that please don't copy the customer data you have to be gdpr compliant maximum companies are there so these problems probably you will face in your automation nowadays whenever we run automation you don't have to use the customer data you can use some faker js or some generated data from chat gpt that you can always use and how to manage your data make sure your data is secure and you basically uh not sharing your your credentials over the jenkins and everything generally we use hashicorp vault which is basically a secure mechanism in our automation or you can use env or environment variables and make sure your selenium or your uh, jenkins machine are very secure so that so nobody can access you can use vpns these are the strategies you can implement to secure your data and be compliant with gdpr and everything okay last but not the least maintaining your test cases which is super 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 most important problem that you will encounter right whenever you are running your test cases if you have test cases more than 20000 right you will face issue with selenium aws infrastructure docker swarm kubernetes and everything those things are common 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 problem that probably you are going to face which are related to ops take help from the devops people learn the devops concept learn the ci cd this is how you can save or share or basically save yourself from the test management issues and of course meanwhile every week we have sometimes for example 30% of the bandwidth stored specifically to maintain our test cases or whatever the failed test cases are there which we generally uh, what we call fix them so this is what we generally do so these are the seven problems that every according to your automation engineer will generally encounter i hope this helps i hope this was giving you a rough idea what are the common challenges probably you are going to follow thanks a lot for please give a like if you have uh, loved the video and if you have got some important point thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video if you need all this documents and other things do let me know in the chat just give me a yes in the chat or in the description i'll definitely pin a comment where all the document documents will be available thank you lots i'll see you in the next video stay awesome bye bye